Hey guys, this is Anukriti Vas, FBB Colors, Femina Miss India World 2018 and you're watching Sing Online and these are my solo shots. You know, in South, it's a very busy place, you know. I, and uh, me coming from Mumbai now, I've been in Mumbai for three months now. And it's such a busy place and a fast-moving city. And Chandigarh, when I entered, I felt so peaceful because it's very silent and very clean and green. So I felt a really great cultural difference between them. And compared to the South, it's uh, the North Indian culture is quite modernized, I say. And uh, South is just getting to it and uh, it's developing now. And that is the one thing I felt and it's uh, quite a cultural shock for me, but still I'm getting to it. Uh, definitely not. The feeling can never be sunk in because that day is one day to be remembered forever. And uh, even now when I think about that day, I just get goosebumps because it was one of the memorable days in my life and uh, uh, I think it will get sunk in sooner. I was totally shocked because you know this has been my dream and moreover it's every Indian girl's dream and now they're announcing my name in, uh, in front of so many people who I didn't even know because for my finale my family didn't come so I was like I didn't know anyone in the crowd and they announced my name and it was such a great moment for me it was I'm, I was very proud and being crowned by Manushi Chiller itself is a great thing because I admired her so much and she crowning me as Miss India 2018 was one of the best moments of my life and I felt more responsible now My mom was really very proud of me and uh, you know when I went backstage and called her by 2.30 in the morning she was still awake and uh, first thing she told me was I'm very proud of you, you proved everyone wrong. So that one word is what I worked for. Um, so I was holding hands with two of my other friends Steffi and Gayatri and I knew they were really competitive and they were equally deserving candidates for the title and all I thought was uh, may the best person win and you know uh, I was just hoping for the best thing to happen and I knew hard work will pay off. I was just, uh, I don't know, I don't know what was on my mind, I was just hoping I would win. I love wedding Asia. 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 I would have become an interpreter or a translator because I have a great love towards languages and I love traveling. So I thought maybe knowing a lot of languages and traveling around the world will be me. But now, uh, being a Miss India, I'm still doing the same, traveling around the world and in, uh, influencing people and being an influencer and I'm loving it. Uh, that's actually people's uh, personal choice, you know. everything. In everything you take, there is a positive and there is also a negative. It's uh, how you see the industry and how, what you take in. So it's up to the personal choice if they think that is it and we can't change their perspective. But it's not really that. Uh, I was always an athlete since school days. I was a long distance runner and thanks to my genes of course. And, uh, Eating healthy is more than enough, more than diet and you know keeping yourself away from food and starving. If you eat healthy, that shows in your body. Me coming from Fiji, I had no idea about makeup and uh, I haven't done even one makeup or makeover until I finished my 12th grade. So that is one reason my skin is very fresh of course. And you know, uh, 
taking good care of health by eating healthy you will just whatever makeup you do you eat healthy you give your body the best thing it will show the best results I love wedding Asia. 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 Uh, now that I won Miss India, next is of course Miss World, which is happening in China this December. So my preparations are full fledged, and I'm working for it. So all I'm concentrating is on Miss World, and uh, after that, I don't know. Let's see. Let's hope. Uh, I'm just keeping the opportunities open. I'm not, you know, planning anything as of now because. Uh, Uh, now all I want to concentrate is on Miss World. Maybe after Miss World, anything can happen. I have no idea what will happen. And you know, we say humanity is alive and everything, but when it comes to the topic of transgenders, I feel humanity is dead in India. Uh, and uh, it's not our fault. It's just the way we are we are brought up. You know, um, it's not their fault if you really realize that. It's just because of the lack of awareness and lack of education in India. I feel when you're aware of what transgender really is, you will not see them indifferent. So I'm working towards the acceptance of transgenders in India. But uh, end of the day, it's the people's perspective. I can't change the world about anything, but I can really change the perspective of at least a few of them in India. uh they are empowered themselves there is nothing called you know women empowerment and everything they are empowered by themselves it's just the it's just that they are putting themselves down and they are pu pulling themselves to the level that they can't do it but it's definitely not that because uh, when i can do it they definitely can do it so keep working keep dreaming go for it